All right, now we're going to do splice as 1C, solder splice. We're going to use uh, our W wire and electrical installation book. It gives an FAA method on how to do solder splices. If I don't have any splices, or terminal lugs to use a bolt to connect the two uh, terminals, you're allowed to do a solder splice. I personally like solder splices um, because there's not a large voltage drop. The key thing to doing this is to strip one and a half inches. I'm going to take one and a half inches, I already stripped this one, one and a half approximately. When you're doing one and a half inches, it's actually very hard to pull the insulation back. But let's go ahead and give this a go. I got one and a half inches, boom, I'm going to lay that in my 22 gauge, about to double check that. There we go, 22, one and a half inches, pop it. There we go. And simply, you're not going to be able to do the old twist and pull very well. You're going to have to use your fingernails and give her a yank. You can say it's not easy, you kind of got to work it. There we go, you know, one and a half inches. Just going to roll my fingers over here lightly. Of course, when I'm doing this, remember, I'm getting ready to solder. I'm introducing oils off my finger. That needs to be cleaned off. I'm going to do this one too. Just roll it, clean, check it. All right, the strands are all nice. I'm going to go ahead and do the old clean with alcohol and tin her up. Lightly clean them so you don't mess up the strands. I'm going to lay it up, lay it in here. And then flux, our favorite. Remember, you got to cut the solder so you don't pinch off the core. We want that flux, that rosin core flux center to flow. Clean it with alcohol. I had my chem, um, chem, chem wipes cleaning it. Then finally, you got to clean the iron. Take a chem wipe. A dry chem wipe. Clean. Lightly tin the end of my iron. And if you remember, when we tin a wire, we go up and then we go back down. Not up to the insulation and back down. Let's do that again. Clean the oxidation off the tip. Lightly tin. Form a bridge. Go up the wire. Then come right back down the wire. and pull off the excess. Tin the solder tip, done. Now we want to just clean this. And I want to look at my tinning job. Looks okay. I can see the strands. Did not wick up the wire. Looks all right. We do the other one. Clean with alcohol. Flux. Ooh. Clean my solder. Oxidation off. Lightly tin the tip. Slide up. And then come right back down. All right. Clean. Both wires are now tinned. I take my two wires and I cross them. I just cross them in half. Just like that. Cross them approximately in half. Now when I wind these, I want to wind approximately four winds to the left and four windings to the right. And I'll show you what I mean. So now I got them in half, approximately. I'm going to take it and just wrap it. Wrap it nice and tight, as tight as you can get. Approximately four times. Now I'm almost at the end. There's three, and I want four. So I'm going to trim it, approximately four. Wind it around. And then I gotta go the other direction. That was four that way. I gotta go four this way. So I go one, as tight as I can get. 
Doesn't have to be perfect now, but it's got to be tight. Two, three. I'm going to trim it so I just get a fourth. It's going to be about four. Uh, and it's really hard at the end there. Is your finger now? Bring it around tight. And you got to work it. All right. And I don't want ends sticking out. So I'm going to trim it a bit. I don't want that poking through my heat shrink when I get done. Same thing here. I'm going to trim it up. There we go. It's not sticking out. I got the windings. I'm going to straighten it up as much as I can. There we go. Now I need to clean it. Throw it in here. Clean it the best I can. I, I want this to be kind of sturdy, so I'm going to wind that around. There we go. As sturdy as I can get it. I'm going to flux it. Flux my connection. Turn the head of your vice a little. Oh, yeah. There we go. Flux it. Same thing. Cut the solder. Clean the solder. Knock the old solder off. Get rid of the oxidation. Lightly tin the wire. Form a heat bridge. Once you have that heat bridge, you can go ahead and just feed where you need to feed. I want to be able to see the strands when I get done here. So retin the wire, and I can take a look and see what I have. I'm going to clean it up. In order to get that flux that likes to get in the strand, just brush it off nice, light, clean her up, take a gander, and I can see the strands on the wire. I can see a fillet in the, between the, the, the strands. I want to be able to still count them and uh, see that they're wrapped around. And that's it. Now I would simply take a piece of heat shrink and heat shrink right over the top, and that would be a solder splice. That's it.